Hello, I'm Dr. Mehul Shah. I'm a consultant pediatric nephrologist at Apollo Health City, Hyderabad. I've been working here for the past 22 years. Today, we are going to uh, burst some myths and talk about some facts about kidney infection in children. Kidney infections are infections of the kidney structure in a young child. This is different from bladder infection which is common in older children and in young adults. Kidney infections in children are very common. They are underestimated. They are seen in about 1 to 2 percent of children under 1 year of age and by the time a child reaches 10 years almost 5 to 6 percent of children would have had one episode of kidney infection. They are more common in boys under one year of age, but as the age increases, girls are more likely to have urine infections or kidney infections as compared to boys. The causes of kidney infections can be divided into two parts, one in children who are less than two years of age and children who are more than two years of age. Children less than two years of age are more likely to have an underlining structural problem which predisposes them to kidney infection such as swelling of the tube of the kidney or urine going back up in the reverse direction from the bladder into the kidney or sometimes it could be because of bladder problems where they are not able to empty the bladder completely because of a block in the tube or it could be because of uh, an obstructing kidney stone. In older children, the common causes of kidney infection would be what we call as bowel bladder dysfunction where children tend to delay passing urine, they become lazy and they do not use the washroom at regular intervals allowing to urine to stagnate in the bladder and increasing the risk of urine infections. In young children below 2 years of age, often unexplained fever is the only symptom of a kidney infection. Also, young children would present with inadequate growth or persistent crying when passing urine or persistent vomiting. Children less than 2 years of age will not have the typical symptoms of kidney infection as observed in an older child or a young adult. In contrast, an older child with kidney infection will have high grade fever with often chills or rigors. They will have abdominal or stomach pain and vomiting along with discomfort while passing urine. It's very easy to diagnose kidney infections in children. Again, in children who are less than 2 years of age, we need to have a high index of suspicion in a child who has unexplained fever, a simple Urine sample for complete urine examination and urine culture would help us either confirm or rule out the presence of urine infection. And these are the simple tests which can be easily obtained in any laboratory. There are two aspects of treatment of kidney infections in children. The first is the medical treatment whereby we institute oral antibiotic therapy which is very effective in majority of children to treat the kidney infection. The treatment is usually for about 10 days. In children who are less than 6 months of age or who have got high fever or persistent vomiting or who are very sick, they may need to get hospitalized and administer intravenous antibiotics for at least about 3 to 5 days. Along with this, the non-medical or non-therapeutic measures would include in addition to the antimicrobial therapy, the other measures include ensuring adequate hydration of the child, avoiding use of stronger painkiller medicines for fever and to use paracetamol if the child has got fever and third in older children ensuring that they have a regular healthy voiding or urinary behavior. We should not take kidney infections lightly in children because about 50% of children under 2 years of age would have either a structural problem in the kidney or urine going back up in the reverse direction which is called as vesicouretic reflux and kidney infections in young children can leave behind 
scars in the kidney like after an injury a mark is left behind on the skin similarly a mark is left behind in the kidney of a growing child with kidney infection and this scars in the kidney over long term can give rise to high blood pressure protein loss and can cause chronic kidney disease so this is something which needs to be kept in mind when managing a child with kidney infection Kidney infection in children can be prevented by the following. One, in children who are born with pregnancy ultrasounds showing some swelling in the kidney needs further evaluation in a step-by-step -step manner after birth to look for any underlining structural abnormality. Tests include serial ultrasounds, MCUG to see if there is reflux, and third, a dynamic renal scan to see if there's any obstruction in the tubes of the kidney. By evaluating this children at early age, we can institute therapy before infections can develop and cause permanent kidney damage. In, in, in older children, it's very important to ensure that the child passes urine in a relaxed manner at regular intervals during the daytime they need to drink adequate amount of water also constipation should be prevented by instituting high fiber food items in the diet children should be encouraged to use the washroom even in the school even if it is dirty there is a misconception that by using dirty bathrooms the child will develop kidney infections or a bladder infection. It is opposite. The urine infection in a child develops because of the germs which are within our body. They do not come from outside. When we empty our bladder, we are not only flushing out the urine, we are also flushing out the bacteria. So when we do not pass urine regularly, by holding on to the urine, the germs stay back in the bladder, multiply and cause infection. So a dirty bathroom does not cause infection, but Holding on to the urine and not passing urine will increase the risk of urine infection. To, to conclude, uh, kidney infections in children are very common. They can be either because of structural abnormalities in the kidney or it could be because of acquired behavioral disorders called as voiding dysfunction in older children. It is very easy to diagnose urine infection by complete urine examination and urine culture. Most often we can treat them with oral antimicrobial therapy. We need to ensure adequate hydration, identify and treat constipation, institute measures to prevent constipation by healthy diet for the family and avoid use of stronger painkiller medications which can cause kidney damage, kidney damage when the child is sick. Kidney infections over long term can give rise to high blood pressure, protein loss and chronic kidney disease and hence the underlying factor contributing to kidney infection needs to be evaluated in every child especially those under 5 years of age.